next step. As always, go Flyers! Congratulations, class of 2021. You survived this past year, which means you can survive anything. Go out and get them, and you're going to do great because you are Dayton Flyers. Go Dayton Flyers. Congratulations, class of 2021. You have earned this. Now on to that very exciting next chapter. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you everything that you've accomplished in your time here and I know you will do great things in the future. Congratulations class of 2021. You've persevered through a very difficult year. You should be very proud of yourself as well as your accomplishments. Now go out and do great things. As a fellow UD alum, I'm very proud to say, go Flyers! On behalf of the Management Information Systems, Operations and Supply Chain Management, and Business Analytics faculty, Congratulations to our MIS and Operations and Supply Chain Management students. I'd like to thank you for this invitation to speak to you about spring graduation today. Spring being an object for storing mechanical energy typically formed by a helical steel coil. And graduation, the action of dividing into degrees or other proportionate divisions as in these graduated cylinders. And, oh, hang on a sec. What? Oh, oh, I do seem to have misunderstood. I see, all right. Happy spring graduation, everybody. But please note, your homework still needs to be uploaded to the Isidore site by 5 p.m. today. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Go be change makers. Continue to create inclusive communities wherever you land. And remember, you are a flyer for life. Congratulations, seniors, on your graduation. May the road ahead of you be exciting and adventurous. But please remember, you always have a home at UD. Graduates, you have overcome so much and still succeeded. Think of all the things that you can accomplish now. Fly high and know that your Flyer family is always right behind you. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, everyone. In the year that COVID struck, you struck back. You persevered, you overcame, you are a UD grad. Congrats and Godspeed. Congratulations to the UD graduates, especially those with the International Marion Research Institute. On behalf of the Engineering Management Systems and Technology Department, congratulations! Hello class of 2021, congratulations from the English department. My name is Dr. Kirsten Mendoza. And I'm Dr. David Fine. And I'm Dr. Liz Hutter. And I'm Dr. Shannon Toll. Congratulations! congratulations. Congratulations! Thanks for all the wonderful times through the years, and we'll miss you. Best of luck to all the seniors, a virtual cheers from the Department of Health and Sports Science. Congratulations, class of 2021. Very proud of all your hard work and looking forward to seeing your future accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're proud of you. You did it. Go celebrate. Congratulations, graduates of 2021. We are so proud of everything you have done and all you have achieved. Congratulations, class of 2021. I look forward to seeing what your next journey brings for you. Please stay in touch. Know that you always have a home here at UD. Congratulations to the newest doctors of physical therapy. We are very proud of the UD DPT class of 2021. We are honored we've been a part of your journey the past four years. We are so proud of your accomplishments and cannot wait to see what the future holds. Congratulations, Congratulations. you did it. Hi, my name's Dr. Art Gibson, a professor in the Sociology, Anthropology, and Social Work Department. And I'd like to congratulate all of you on this amazing accomplishment. Patricia McKissack once wrote, remember, what is given from the heart reaches the heart. Congratulations, graduates. Remember to always give from your heart. Congratulations, class of 2021. Welcome to the alumni family. You're in our thoughts and prayers as you take your next steps. As always, go Flyers. Congratulations, class of 2021. You survived this past year, which means you can survive anything. Go out and get them, and you're going to do great, because you are Dayton Flyers. Go Dayton Flyers. Congratulations, class of 2021. You have earned this. Now on 
to that very exciting Mr. Jackie. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of you and everything that you've accomplished in your time here, and I know you will do great things in the future. Congratulations, class of 2021. You've persevered through a very difficult year. You should be very proud of yourself as well as your accomplishments. Now go out and do great things. As a fellow UD alum, I'm very proud to say, go Flyers. On behalf of the Management Information Systems, Operations and Supply Chain Management, and Business Analytics faculty, congratulations to our MIS and Operations and Supply Chain Management students. I'd like to thank you for this invitation to speak to you about spring graduation today. Spring being an object for storing mechanical energy typically formed by a helical steel coil. And graduation, the action of dividing into degrees or other proportionate divisions as in these graduated cylinders. And, oh, hang on a sec. What? Oh, oh, I do seem to have misunderstood. I see. All right. Happy spring graduation, everybody. But please note, your homework still needs to be uploaded to the Isidore site by 5 p.m. today. Thank you. Congratulations, class of 2021. You did it. Go be change makers. Continue to create inclusive communities wherever you land. And remember, you are a flyer for life. Congratulations, seniors, on your graduation. May the road ahead of you be exciting and adventurous, but please remember you always have a home at UD. Graduates, you have overcome so much and still succeeded. Think of all the things that you can accomplish now. Fly high and know that your flyer family is always right behind you. Congratulations, graduates. Congratulations, everyone. In the year that COVID struck, you struck back. You persevered, you overcame, you are a UD grad. Congrats and Godspeed. Congratulations to the UD graduates, especially those with the International Marion Research Institute. On behalf of the Engineering Management Systems and Technology Department, congratulations! Hello class of 2021, congratulations from the English Department. My name is Dr. Kirsten Mendoza. And I'm Dr. David Fine. And I'm Dr. Liz Hutter. And I'm Dr. Shannon Toll. Congratulations! Congratulations! Thanks for all the wonderful times through the years, and we'll miss you. Best of luck to all the seniors, a virtual cheers from the Department of Health and Sports Science. Congratulations, class of 2021. Very proud of all your hard work and looking forward to seeing your future accomplishments. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're proud of you. You did it. Go celebrate. Woohoo! Congratulations, graduates of 2021. We are so proud of everything you have done and all you have achieved. Congratulations, class of 2021. I look forward to seeing what your next journey brings for you. Please stay in touch. Know that you always have a home here at UD. Congratulations to the newest doctors of physical therapy. We are very proud of the UD DPT class of 2021. We are honored we've been a part of your journey the past four years. We are so proud of your accomplishments. I cannot wait to see what the future holds. Congratulations. Congratulations, you did it. Hi, my name's Dr. Art Gibson, a professor in the Sociology, Anthropology, and Social Work Department. And I'd like to congratulate all of you on this amazing accomplishment. Patricia McKissack once wrote, remember, what is given from the heart reaches the heart. Congratulations, graduates. Remember to always give from your heart. I'm Marie Blakeney, class of 93 and president of your Alumni Association. As you've grown during your time here, UD is greater because of your contributions in the classroom and community. Your ability to be flexible and adapt to difficult circumstances is remarkable. Your growth mindset brought you success as a student and will serve you well as an alum. The strength of our community comes from each of you and encourage you to keep the ties with each other and UD strong. They'll last a lifetime. Congratulations and welcome to the Alumni Association. Go Flyers! Hello. In what has been an extraordinarily challenging year, I am especially honored to be here with you today. Earning a degree is an achievement to be recognized and commemorated. Doing so in the midst of a worldwide pandemic takes your accomplishments to an even more remarkable level. 
On behalf of the Board of Trustees, it is with great pleasure that I congratulate all the graduates here today. While this was not the year anyone would have imagined, you have moved forward in your matriculation, and that in itself is something to celebrate. Our board extends a very warm welcome to parents, family members, and friends of our graduates. We know that earning this degree is never an easy or a solitary journey. Your guidance, support, and encouragement have been absolutely essential. It is with immense gratitude that we recognize you for your role in cultivating the faith, heart, values, and work ethic that characterize your special graduate. The University of Dayton has been in existence since 1850. Our Marianist traditions are timeless and transformative. Our faith is strong, our culture is vibrant, and our family spirit is indelible. Never in our 171-year history have our institutional values and foundation been so tested or so evident as they have been throughout the pandemic. Graduates, this transformative education in the Marianist tradition will be a part of you for the rest of your life. If confronted with this seemingly impossible as you navigate life's many personal and professional challenges, I encourage you to have a bias for action that drives you to face these challenges without fear or trepidation. Yes, the pandemic has been a crisis of unthinkable proportions and one we hope to never encounter again. But your time here has prepared you to enter a dramatically changing world that is poised to begin anew. Your efforts to overcome the challenges of this last year is a testament to your resolve and persistence, marked by a bias towards action that has propelled you to succeed now and will do so well beyond the walls of this university. Be generous with your love and compassion. Persevere, make a difference, pursue your dreams, live your faith, improve your communities. Be emboldened by the love of your families and your bond to this university to turn your own unique dreams into bold actions dedicated to the common good. You are, after all, the future, one that is all the brighter because of who you are and the actions you will take going forward. Today, you have achieved a momentous goal, one that will open new and exciting chapters in your life. Congratulations and all good luck to you. We can't wait to see you make your own unique mark on the world. We know you can, we know you will. Thank you.
welcome to the University of Dayton. Before we begin our celebration, in accordance with public health recommendations and for the health and safety of all those in attendance today, we wish to remind everyone to please wear their mask and maintain physical distancing throughout the ceremony. All graduates and all guests should remain in their seats for the duration of the ceremony. A special thank you to those who extended their congratulations to our graduates via video today. Many of our UD faculty and staff, Ray Blakeney, UD Alumni Association President, and Mary Busalis, who is chair of the UD Board of Trustees. The University of Dayton Spring Graduation Ceremony for the year 2021 is herewith convened. Graduates, at your seat, you were given a medal bearing on one side the image of Blessed William Joseph Chaminade, the founder of the Society of Mary, the religious order that sponsors the University of Dayton. On the other side is the seal of the university. In Chaminade's ever-inspiring example, we entrust you to go forth living humbly, acting boldly, and working imaginatively and prayerfully to build community throughout the human family. In prayer for our community and communities everywhere, let us pause for an invocation by Crystal Sullivan, Executive Director of Campus Ministry. Please remain standing at the conclusion of the prayer for the singing of the national anthem performed virtually by 14 UD voice majors receiving their music degrees this weekend. Crystal. Let us pray. Eternal God, source of all life and knowledge, we joyfully call upon your presence and place before you these graduates, whose curiosity, passion, and perseverance have brought them to this day. We are grateful for ideas that surprise them, faculty and staff who challenge them, experiences that inspired them, and family and friends who supported them along the way. We pray that your Holy Spirit will guide each one into the future, keeping in focus all that they have learned here, inspiring them to follow in the footsteps of our Marianist founders, to build communities of justice and peace in solidarity with those most in need. Give them courage to live deeply their vocations and to use their unique gifts, their education and their vision to build a better world for all. Spirit of love, may this time of graduation be a time to celebrate your abundant life within and around us all. Let us each be renewed by your infinite mercy and the joy of this day. We praise and bless you now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. On behalf of the University of Dayton community, I offer a warm welcome to all assembled here today. I also extend our gratitude to Dr. Alan Kimbrough, our organist, 
and to the ensemble of voice majors for their beautiful rendition of the national anthem. At this time, I'm pleased to introduce Ms. Natalie Coppolino, the outgoing president of the Student Government Association, who will share her remarks with us virtually. Natalie graduates tomorrow with a Bachelor of Science in Business Administration degree, majoring in business economics. Ms. Coppolino. Welcome, family, friends, flyers, and graduates. My name is Natalie Coppolino, and I'm so incredibly honored to have the opportunity to speak with you all today at this celebration of the class of 2021. Four years ago, in the weeks leading up to leaving for Dayton, I remember telling countless friends and family members that, although I was excited, I was not ready to go. As I stood anxiously outside of Founders Hall on move-in day, I said to my parents again, I'm not ready to go. Little did I know that the next four years would be some of the best of my life. There were good times and there were bad times, some stressful times, but mostly happy times. All of these moments together add up to an experience, a community, a family that I would not have had if I had not taken that leap of faith, if I had actually listened to my doubts saying, I'm not ready to go and not win. And now, as I stand before all of you today, I say to you, I'm not ready to go. In the years ahead, we're going to have a lot of I'm not ready moments. But if the past four years have taught me anything, they have taught me that even in moments of doubt, when you think you are not ready or cannot take the next step in your life, do it anyway. After all, some of the best things in life stem from just taking that little leap of faith. Class of 2021, we did it. We have overcome every obstacle on our path, not only in the past four years, but especially in the past year. We are strong, we are resilient, we are UD. Although we will all go our separate ways, taking the next steps in our lives, we will always have something in common. We will always be flyers and we will always be a community. Thank you, Ms. Coppolino. Dr. Eric Spina, the 19th president of the University of Dayton, will now share some personal thoughts with us. President Spina. Thank you, Paul. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. That's like low energy. Good afternoon, everyone. That's better. Congratulations to the class of 2021. You made it. <laughs> Speaking as your president, representing all of the faculty, staff, and Marianists at the University of Dayton, let me say this very simply and directly. We are so very, very proud of you. Incredibly proud of you. As colleges and universities across the country made decisions last summer to go completely remote or to bring back only half, or in some cases, even only a quarter of their students, we understood that this could not, would not work at UD, where we truly value having everyone in community together. So we asked you to make sacrifices, to follow protocols, and to demonstrate your care and concern for others. And you did it, you did it. You successfully navigated a year unlike any other by leaning into your flyer spirit, by giving each other grace, by adapting and growing in ways you had never imagined. And now we are together to celebrate this year of success and your exceptional achievements across your career at the University of Dayton. Life has already tested you in ways that no other class has been tested across 171 years that UD has existed. And it didn't come in the way of an essay scrawled in a blue book or a complex problem set. It came in the way of selfless sacrifice and you aced that final exam. Please give yourselves a rousing round of applause because you did it.
I offer a special welcome to all of our families on this joyous day. I can feel your happiness, your pride, and yes, even a little bit of relief. This day is finally here, and we're so grateful and blessed to be here today in person. This is a day that I know you will always remember and cherish. And to all the, all the mothers with us this weekend, and especially the mothers of the graduates, a happy early Mother's Day to you. What wonderful special gift your son or daughter is giving you, a University of Dayton diploma and a memory of a lifetime. Graduates, will you please rise, face your mother and your other family members and loved ones, and give them a rousing round of applause for the support and love that they've given you. Thank you. Some of you are first-generation college graduates, the first in the history of your family lineage to earn a college degree. Others are the first graduates of the Flyer Promise Scholars Program, which eliminates financial barriers for high-achieving, underserved students. You personify the American dream, and you will continue to open doors of opportunity, not just for yourselves, but for future generations of your family. We are so proud of you and so proud of the family members who made your dream and theirs come true. Let's have a special round of applause for first generation graduates and the Flyer Promise Scholars. As you saw in the videos that ran before the ceremony, members of the faculty and staff are with you today in spirit. I thank them for creating an environment that has allowed you to stretch yourselves academically, to dream big, to dare to be great. These mentors have prepared you to use your education and faith to make a difference, a real difference, in a world hungry for your ability to build community across difference and to think in innovative ways about creating a just future for all. Those are the hallmarks of your Catholic Marianist education. As I prepared my remarks for today, I recalled the words of author Yasmin Mogahed, who wrote, happiness, sadness, loss, and gain all pass away. What they do to us is what remains. What they do for us is what remains. Your presence here today speaks to what remains, your tenacity and your heart. And as you've discovered during this most unusual of senior years, for all that's been lost, indeed much has been gained. Your class has learned the power of sacrifice because you've made necessary ones to keep you, your families, and our campus safe. Your class understands more fully the meaning of community, even our socially distanced world. On a campus where community is our calling card, you have embraced the commitment to care for one another. Your class became more adept at navigating the unknown on this journey of faith we share together. The ability to work with ambiguity means you'll be able to face uncertainties, adapt to change, and be flexible as life's mysteries unfold in both magical and sometimes confounding ways. Flexibility is a prized trait in whatever profession you pursue, and you have met adversity, one of life's greatest teachers, and it has made you stronger. As graduates of the College of Arts and Science, you will be challenged to help solve complex problems, such as finding cures for cancers, developing future vaccines, and slowing climate change. Our music and fine arts graduates will bring the healing power of music and art to a post-pandemic world, and the future doctors in your class will provide compassionate care to all that they serve. Many of you will be accepted or have already been accepted into some of the finest graduate programs in the nation, including medical, dental, and law schools. All of you will use your skills and innovation, collaboration, and creativity to improve lives 
can change our world. As I close, I challenge you in the spirit of the Marianists to use your gifts and talents to serve others. Lead with love. Lead with love. Take the University of Dayton's welcoming spirit humbly into the world and open your hearts and minds to others, especially those who may be different from you or, or who have less than you. I have full confidence that you will be successful in all the ways that matter. I know our country and our society will benefit from your expertise and efforts, your compassion, your community building skills, your faith, and your fortitude. The University of Dayton will always be an important part of you, and you will always be a part of the special campus community. This will always be your home. Members of the class of 2021, congratulations on your accomplishments. The world is waiting for you and all your immeasurable gifts. May God's grace be with you as you realize your dreams and pursue lives of great purpose and service to humanity. Go Flyers! Thank you, Dr. Spina. This weekend, we are excited to celebrate 2,148 new UD graduates. Yesterday, we awarded 127 law degrees, 45 doctoral, one specialist, and 427 master's degrees. Today and tomorrow, at four separate ceremonies, there's more to be proud of as we gather to honor and award 1,671 undergraduate degrees. Each of our graduates knows the critical role that professors and staff members have played in making their graduation possible, especially given the many challenges of this pandemic year. Though most faculty and staff are not able to be with us in person, we thank them for their dedication and commitment to our students. As we prepare now for the presentation and awarding of degrees, we remind all guests to remain in their seats throughout the conferral of the degrees your graduating student will be most visible receiving their diploma via the Arena Jumbotron. And let's please also remember that those students, family members, and guests who could not be with us in person today are participating in the ceremony via live stream on the web. At this time, President Spina and the Dean of the College of Arts and Sciences, Dr. Pierce, will confer the degrees upon the graduates of the class of 2021. Dean Pierce. Will the candidates for the baccalaureate degrees in the College of Arts and Sciences please rise? Honorable President, it gives me great pleasure to recommend those candidates who have completed all the requirements prescribed by the faculty of the College of Arts and Sciences for their respective degrees and to recommend them as worthy of being awarded the degrees for which they have been approved. Honorable Dean Pierce, upon the recommendation of the faculty and by the authority of the Board of Trustees of the University of Dayton and the State of Ohio, I confer upon the qualified candidates the appropriate degrees as listed in the commencement program with all the rights, privileges, and responsibilities pertaining thereto. Congratulations. <laughs> Brooke Henry, magna cum laude. Hannah Kelly, cum laude. Sarah McGonigal, magna cum laude. Shana Rauch, cum laude. Hannah Gatlin. Roberto Alomar. Iman Abdulaziz Al Shafai, cum laude. Akila Hussein Al Shahab. Brian 
Bollinger, Claire Brewer, William Carreras Ortiz, Emily Cordonier, magna cum laude, Drake Dollinghouse, Samantha Johnson, magna cum laude, Megan Lewis, cum laude, Remy McAllister, cum laude, Catherine Niekamp, cum laude, Brendan Puglis, Lucy Rauker, Madeline Spicer, summa cum laude, Shannon Stanforth, summa cum laude, Caitlin Chapman, Sarah Ivins, magna cum laude, Sophie Wilson, magna cum laude. For the degree, Bachelor of General Studies, James Beaupre, Jalen Crutcher, Abigail Mensler, Cole Fletka, Mariano Ricciardi, Ibby Watson. For the degree Bachelor of Music in Music Education, Jack DiStefano, Margaret Fader, Ronnie Hammond, Graham Hardert, Samantha Heisey, Alex Keverly, Emily Kramer, magna cum laude, Caitlin Polson, magna cum laude. For the degree Bachelor of Music and Music Performance, Mariah Berryman, magna cum laude. Claire Carey, cum laude. Nathan Rhodes, summa cum laude. Blaze Stevens, cum laude. For the degree Bachelor of Music in Music Therapy, Sydney Betos. Margaret Boffa, magna cum laude. Jessica Boy, magna cum laude. Veronica Elliott. Samantha Engel, magna cum laude. Itzel Fenton. Isabella Klotz, magna cum laude. Anna Luque, magna cum laude. Michaela Miller, magna cum laude. Christine O'Keefe, magna cum laude. Haley Phillips, magna cum laude. Samantha Rowan, summa cum laude. Ellen Winsky. For the degree Bachelor of Arts, Edward Gillettinen. For the degree Bachelor of Science, Nicholas Cagle. Katie Jackson, magna cum laude. Zachary Lentz. Kelly Plyman, summa cum laude. Carter Arbogast. Matthew Bugada, summa cum laude. Dane Cooper. Rachel Daly, magna cum laude. Stephanie Johnson, summa cum laude. Jessica Caden, magna cum laude. Abigail Kelly, summa cum laude. Anthe Kornovic, Kornokovic. Grace Kozarek, cum laude. Tyler Law, magna cum laude. Emily Moses, magna cum laude. Thomas Mulligan. Catherine Perry, magna cum laude. Marcus Rivera. Ashley Schaefer. Jenna Sizemore, summa cum laude. Nina Wendell, magna cum laude. Caitlin Williams, summa cum laude. Seth Adams, cum laude. Gabrielle Agulia. Leah Allen, magna cum laude. Shaza Alutavi, cum laude. Lauren Alvarez. Brittany Amin, cum laude. Irene Backus, Laura Bradley, 
Faith Breeden, Jamia Bridges Butler, Molly Buchanan, magna cum laude, Nina Chinchilla, Morgan Klein, cum laude, Sarah Collins, summa cum laude, Molly Cook, cum laude, Diego Ortiz, Alyssa Dabrowski, cum laude, Mariana De Matteo, Matthew Donopoli, Carrington Ecker, Camille Eichenberger, cum laude, Chelsea Ilacobi, magna cum laude, Carly Evats, cum laude, Madeline Filiatro, magna cum laude, Patrick Flaherty, summa cum laude, Anna Gagliardino, cum laude, Emily Georgiopoulos, magna cum laude, Adelina Garati, cum laude, Jefferson Garati, cum laude, Graham Glasgow, cum laude, Grace Goddard, magna cum laude, Hannah Gordon, cum laude, Ryan Hoffman, Sarah Hubble, summa cum laude, Bernadette Highbanks, cum laude, Jamin Jatu, Emma Kane, cum laude, Hannah Keating, magna cum laude, Maxwell Leibold, Peyton Liebhart, cum laude, Gabriella Lindley, magna cum laude, Michael Mancuso, Lydia Mann, cum laude, Catherine Martini, magna cum laude, Mitchell Matakovich, Brent McGinty, magna cum laude, Juliana Mitchell, summa cum laude, McKenna O'Connor, summa cum laude, Emily Ott, Brian Perry, Anna Peterson, Abigail Pettit, Elizabeth Pritchard, Alexa Reckley, Diego Reeve Lockwood, Tamaya Robinson, Alyssa Rodriguez, magna cum laude, Paulina Sanchez, Julia Scanlon, cum laude, Megan Sheridan, Hugo Gonzalez, Nicholas Skorupski, Samantha Smith, Kelsey Spurgeon, Claire Sullivan, magna cum laude, Emma Tobin, Taylor Tomko, Luke Vajdik, Kyle Verna, cum laude, Jacob Vertoznik, Joshua Vivas Rodriguez, Danielle Welch, summa cum laude, Erica Wusman, Austin Yuri, Zachary Urich, Emily Zug, Leo Holbrook, Jacqueline Kleffman, Ian Smith, Lauren Stoops, Nolan Hollingsworth, Ryan Marr, cum laude, Spencer Mitchell, Andrew Pickart, Devin Porter, magna cum laude, David Puzder, summa cum laude, Jacob Sheets, Brandon Wong, magna cum laude, Jack Armentrout, magna cum laude, Jacob Blair, Brandon Collins, cum laude, Anna Dorisi, Lu Luis Feliciano, Claire Gutzmiedo, cum laude, Connor Hesseling, magna cum laude, Elizabeth Hosek, summa cum laude, Caleb Hoskins, cum laude, 
Marshall Kiplinger, magna cum laude. Nicholas Muller, magna cum laude. Thomas Napoli, cum laude. Mohammed Endel. Austin Newland. Eric Pappas, magna cum laude. Dakota Pease, cum laude. Liam Randall, summa cum laude. Austin Rank. Samuel Ray. Zachary Rowland, summa cum laude. Justin Stahl, magna cum laude. Bradley Utterbeck. Roberto Valadez, Jr. Logan Baker, cum laude. Samantha Berkeley, magna cum laude. Caitlin Bauscher, cum laude. Niani Brown. Ryan Demisa. Amy Feltz, cum laude. Kaylee Frimgen. Abby Hay, summa cum laude. Eva Hill. Emily Johnson, magna cum laude. Grace Klipaz, cum laude. Gretchen Lozowski, magna cum laude. Sienna McPeak, cum laude. Kathleen Miller, cum laude. Christopher Peck, cum laude. Mark Reed. Kevin Riley. Kaylin Spedding, magna cum laude. Landry Worth. Patrick Holmes, cum laude. Ali Alfarsi, cum laude. Joseph Foster. Elijah Borgman. Meredith McFarland. Mark Rob Havlicek, cum laude. Sarah Nyheisel, magna cum laude. John Nodes, Brenna Riley, Samantha Woodridge, cum laude, Peter Hadici, also receiving a Bachelor of Mechanical Engineering, Michael Mueller, Zane Parsons, magna cum laude, Joseph Gosley, cum laude, Kaylee Koski, cum laude, Brennan Mooney, magna cum laude, Seth Warren, magna cum laude. Caitlin Alleman, magna cum laude. Chelsea Baylor, summa cum laude. Natalie Bayer. Charles Body, summa cum laude. Lauren Brash, summa cum laude. Jonathan Bruce. Morgan Bruska, cum laude. Cameron Buskey, magna cum laude. Diego Buxeda Lopez, cum laude. Joseph Cerullo, cum laude. Alexandra Christian, magna cum laude. Jonathan Colwell, summa cum laude. Veronica Cook, Claire Cronin. Rachel Froyle, commissioned in the United States Air Force. John Dixon, magna cum laude. Maria Feda, summa cum laude. Cassidy Falduto, cum laude. Mackenzie Ferguson. Sarah Freilich, magna cum laude. Natalie Graff, summa cum laude. Abigail Gully, cum laude. Mohammed Hamzi. Shannon Henderson. William Jevnicker, summa cum laude. Rachel Johnson, magna cum laude. Jonathan Katz, cum laude. Aiden Previs, magna cum laude. Emma Landenwich, magna cum laude. Lauren Lanham, Daniel Lynch, and Anne Meadowcroft, cum laude. Sonia Melton, magna cum laude. Logan Mays, Summa cum laude. Sarah Pierce, magna cum laude. Allison Powell, magna cum laude. 
Eric Grayson, magna cum laude. Mary Rocky, cum laude. Samuel Ripley, magna cum laude. Megan Rossler, magna cum laude. Rachel Rogowski, magna cum laude. Kennedy Sana, summa cum laude. Marjorie Sayers, cum laude. Grace Sharp, summa cum laude. Liam Schiller, magna cum laude. Renata Schuler, Grace Scott, magna cum laude. Marielle Timmy, Alexandra Trykoff, cum laude. Jacob Wagner, ma summa cum laude. Caroline Waddles, Caroline Weiler, Luke Williams, cum laude. Brianna Wiska, Hannah Urick, magna cum laude. Bridget Allen, cum laude. Jacob Avendano, magna cum laude. Alexa Couch, Morgan Couture, Renee Fina, summa cum laude. Abigail Flower, summa cum laude. Megan Frelisi, Brianna Gavin, Monique Gibson, Gabrielle Hofer, Cassandra Hires, cum laude, Ryan Lamory, Megan Leonard, Aaron Layden, magna cum laude, Julia Lundell, Jasmine Marsh, Savannah Minardi, magna cum laude, Ashley Montagnesi, magna cum laude, Widad Mukar, Macy Brown, Kira Noble, magna cum laude, Ashlyn Robbins, McKenna Seibold, cum laude, Christina Taglienti, cum laude, Josiane Sopney, Alan Watson. As this commencement ceremony draws to a close, the University of Dayton marks 171 years of service to our students. We congratulate and thank you, the family and friends of today's graduates, for the important role that you have played to support these students during their matriculation at UD and the unique challenges of the past year. Let's give another round of applause to the mothers in the audience and all of the family members and guests. And finally, to the class of 2021, we salute you for your achievements and wish each of you well in your life's journey. You have now earned the right to transfer your tassel to the left side of your cap. On behalf of the University of Dayton, let me welcome all of our new graduates to a community of over 123,000 alumni worldwide. Ladies and gentlemen, please stand now if you're able for the benediction offered by Father Jim Fitz, Vice President for Mission and Rector, followed by the virtual singing of the University of Dayton anthem by our graduating voice majors. Please remain in your places until our guests have left the stage and the academic procession has cleared the main aisle. Following the procession, university marshals will escort the graduates directly outside 
All guests are asked then to depart the arena and meet their graduate outside. Thank you so very much for joining us for today's ceremony to celebrate the class of 2021. Father Jim. As we come to the end of our commencement ceremony, for those receiving a Bachelor of Fine Arts of General Studies of Music and of Science, we pray in a special way for those who have received their degrees this day. We pray in thanksgiving for their perseverance in their journey in these unprecedented circumstances in, and in thanksgiving for all those who supported them. May the challenge to learn, lead, and serve that has permeated their educational experience here at the University of Dayton give vision and purpose to the next steps on the journey of their lives. Let us pray. Gracious and loving God, we pray today in a special way for those on whom the university has bestowed Bachelor of Fine Arts of General Studies of Music and of Science. The end of their university education has not been the time that any of them expected nor a time that any of us asked for. But these unprecedented events have also been the opportunity for new lessons, lessons of solidarity and the common good. The events have invited us all to take nothing for granted, especially the formative experiences of this campus, relationships, with friends, faculty, and staff, experiential learning opportunities, opportunities for self-discovery, and much more. We have been invited to respond to the given circumstances with humility and courage, but most importantly, to bear the cost of love. So we ask you, gracious God, May you teach those recognized this day to walk by faith when they cannot walk by sight. May they be guided by your words and deeds as they continue the search for truth, the truth that will set them free. May your spirit, the spirit of love, descend upon them and inspire them to love not only in word and in speech, but in deeds and truth, so that they help build communities and a world where the dignity of each person is upheld and respected, and all people join in the search for peace, justice, and love. May the blessing of you, our loving God, descend upon descend also upon all those who have supported them, parents, family, friends, mentors, and teachers. May your power and strength sustain our graduates now and always in their commitment to learn, lead, and serve. We make this prayer to you, our gracious God, now and forever. Amen. On my 